Circuit breakers work pretty well most of the time. If they switch off, we turn them back on manually. That technology hasn't changed much since the first patent was issued to Thomas Edison 140 years ago. But a former electrician turned entrepreneur in Charlotte, North Carolina, got the bright idea to flip the switch and bring circuit breakers into the digital age. They're basically switches. Circuit breakers are crucial to Ryan Kennedy. They are mechanical switches that open or break a circuit during an electrical surge to protect equipment downstream. And that is in every building today. They're also part of his 25-year quest to build a better electrical system. To turn it off, you got to go manually pull levers. And that just, to me, seemed fundamentally wrong. You see the tablets, phones, things like that. Everything else is operating off of those devices. Electrical power wasn't. Kennedy helped build office towers in the 1990s, remaking the skyline in his hometown, Charlotte, North Carolina. He's also seen how dangerous their electrical systems can be. You know, imagine a high-rise building completely down from an arc flash event for weeks at a time. It can cause tremendous amounts of damage and downtime. A current surging into the air can create an arc flash. It can heat the air to more than 30,000 degrees. It can cause you know, death, severe injury, burns. It happens all the time. During an April storm in New Jersey, utility workers scrambled away from danger. In December, a flash lit up the night sky in New York City, causing a fire at a power plant. And investigators in Paris say electricity may have caused the fire that damaged Notre Dame. A faster circuit breaker can help limit the risk. This is our solid state semiconductor. Solid state because there are no moving parts. Faster because semiconductors break the flow of electricity instead of mechanical switches. I mean, 3,000 times faster than, you know, the fastest mechanical breaker. While working with Dennis Carusis on a project in 2014, Kennedy noticed improvements in materials and computing power that might make digital breakers a cost-effective business. They founded Atom Power to find out. It can interrupt up to 100,000 amps. Yeah. Um, Which, by the way, there's no circuit breaker that does any more than that. Military contractors are buying and testing the first-generation model. A standard breaker might cost less than half, but watch. A single 100-amp digital breaker can be converted to 15 amps instantly. There's a remote control option, too. Underwriters Laboratories, the safety inspector, tested Adam Power's breaker last year. If it's certified, and Kennedy believes it will be, it will be the first ever UL-listed solid-state circuit breaker. Generation 2, still to be tested by UL, is cheaper because Adam Power is now making its own semiconductors in Charlotte. The main attraction, though, is safety. You see that big black cable there? That thing is a short circuit between two different phases. Devastating under normal circumstances. Ready? There we go. Fastest circuit breaker in the world. It's really anticlimactic. And it's caught the attention of utilities. Atlanta-based Southern Company, with 9 million customers, hopes to begin testing Atom Power's breakers this year. You're effectively going from interrupting um, hazards um, at speeds like you'd flip a light switch to nearly the speed of light. Eventually, they might even be in your basement. Probably sooner than you could imagine. Electrical systems are light years behind where everyone else is. It's kind of the holy grail in electrical engineering. Kennedy is hoping the UL certification comes through in time for about 100 companies to begin testing the digital breakers this year. Three of the four major manufacturers of circuit breakers, Siemens, ABB, and Eaton, are Atom Power investors.